Hello guys and welcome to my first nail art tutorial here on YouTube. So here is the nail art that we will be doing today and it is called Gradient Stripe Hollow. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I'm not exactly sure yet. You'll know in the title though. But yeah, so let's get into the tutorial. So, first thing that you want to do is start off with a white base coat and then go ahead and apply some liquid latex. And... As you can see, right about now, I got some on my nails, and you don't want to do that. First of all, it's not going to make the color look pretty, and also, if you're wearing a peel-off base coat, it'll peel your base coat off. And then I got this weird straggly thing. Don't know how, but it did. And then I just finished peeling that up. But yes, it is very important that when you're using liquid latex or nail vinyls to be very, very extremely careful if you are wearing a peel-off base coat, because you don't want to peel off your peel-off base coat. <laughs> So, yes, and I got some on my skin again, or on my nail again, so I'm just fidgeting to find my stick, and I found it. So, yes, just go ahead and clean that up, and any other ones that you may have gotten, and I'm using Liquid Palisade, and any of the nail polish that I use will be in the description box. So, go ahead and grab your makeup sponge, and go ahead and start putting your colors on. And I'm going to do a whole separate video on how to do gradients, because I feel like that's a really, really important thing when you're doing nail art, because they're really, really fun. And we're going to do a little bit of some Snapchatting. And, yeah, as we're painting this on. Hello, my Snapchat fam. I am currently doing the over voice. Woo! Yeah. So, thought you guys like to be interested in this. So, I did three thin coats of it on there. And, yeah, that's really all I did. As you can see here, that's all I'm doing. And, yeah, and the thinner the coats you do, the better, because it'll give a better gradient. And then, go ahead and apply a nail stripe or thingy, whatever you want on there, however you want to. But make sure when you do this that you apply it on so you get all of the gradient in there. So you get like all of the colors from the pink to the blue to the purple or whatever colors that you used. Go ahead and paint your nail black. And it is very important also when you are wearing a peel off base coat, when you peel this off to be very slow and also to not peel from the cuticle area. You want to peel from the very tip of the nail because if you peel from the cuticle, It'll most likely peel up your peel off base coat, so you want to peel from the tip, as I do in my friend. Okay, where are my tweezers? There we are, as I do here. And you can see, I, kind of at the top, I my nail thing was a little crooked. I was like, you know, whatever. I don't really care. I don't really care if anything's perfect. I'd rather everything be a little bit less perfect, because nothing needs to be perfect. Then I go ahead and apply my little hollow on there, and this is completely optional. You don't have to do this. You can totally leave it the black with the color or whatever you want. But yes, and then you can go ahead and apply your glossy top coat. And I'm just using Revlon Extra Life No Chip Top Coat. My favorite top coat. And yes, so that is the completed nail art design. I think it is so pretty and I love it. And yes, I think it's the prettiest thing ever. So, yes, if you guys liked this nail tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. And, yeah, all my social media links will be in the description box down below. P.S. Go follow me on Snapchat so you can see behind the scenes of overvoicing and filming and editing and, yeah, all that. So, yeah. Bye!